Hello everybody, my name is Green Linux, and today I'm going to teach you how to make custom reflection maps uh, on any bikes from the OEM pack. I precise OEM pack because the way the bikes have been imported are probably different than, let's say, a model swap imported by some guy who sells the model swap. And, uh, uh, <laughs> so, it's extremely easy, but I wanted to, to, to teach you because I know some people still struggle, uh, especially on my um, KXF uh, detailed normal map where they export the normal map and the bike is all shiny and they don't understand. So, we've got our texture there, so I'm going to export that texture. All right, so, uh, no, wrong button. So, as usual, Targa, rename that the way it's meant to be named. So, KX2021.tga. Okay, 20, oh, it depends, of of course, depending on the, the, the bike you're working on. All right, and I've got my normal map. So, as you recall, when you export a texture for a bike, my apologies, um, it's it has to be exported as 24 bits. So... For example, if I export my normal map, I'm going to have a prompt that says, there we go, resolution 16, 24, or 32. For the normal map, you want to export it as 32 because the alpha mask is what makes the bike shiny or not. So if I export it as 32, I press OK. If I open my texture, if I go to uh, layers or I don't know how it's called in English, but it's next to layers, like actual layers. Anyway, you've got RVB, red, green, blue, and there is alpha. Weirdly, my alpha is white. It's because in my PSD, there was no, so this is a PSD, as you can see, there was no uh, alpha channel. So by default, when you export as 32, Photoshop export uh, the... Uh, the layers, um, the alpha mask, sorry, as white. But in game, what happens is that the game reads that and the game sees a white texture. So it says, okay, everything has to be shiny because if you didn't know, in the alpha channel, everything that is white is gonna be extremely shiny and, and reflection, whatever. If it's black, it's gonna be matte. So no reflection, no, no shininess, whatever. Uh, so that's not what we want. Uh, but you might ask, how do I know? Like, how can I make my um, my my reflection look good? So what I'm gonna do is duplicate the uh, ambient occlusion uh, uh, folder or layer, depend what bike you're working on. So now it's darker, but we don't care. So I'm gonna uh, unlock that so we can actually modify it. And inside, there is a bunch of folders. The goal is to go on every, like every texture, whatever, and uh, put product as normal. Uh, I don't think you, you have to touch this one because I apologize. I made the 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 uh, AO layers for this bike, and it's not the best one. I have to admit. So you change your opacity. You you, you click it back to normal instead of product or whatever you have until your bike your uh, your texture looks something like this so yes i have to make that to 100 i have to make that to normal boom so as you can see now my bike my texture is just i think no actually those you have to, to keep them uh Like that, yeah, because those are the shadows I'm manually added. This AO is very well made. <laughs> but for any other bikes, um, usually there is one ambient occlusion layer. So just put that at normal, no opacity, and you're good to go. So I've got that. I'm going to fuse the group. So we've got like an actual layer, and I'm going to name that Spicular. There we go. Um, I'm going to create a folder actually called Spicular because we're going to do something very cool. I'm going to show you and explain why. So inside that folder, there is my uh, base uh, map, right? 
But, for example, my exhaust here, I want it to be all shiny, like extremely shiny. But there are some stickers, as you can tell. So uh, that carbon fiber thingy, that sticker over there, they have, they has to not be shiny because it's a sticker. Same thing for the forks. I want the forks to be extremely shiny, but not the Showa logo. It will not look good. So in order to do that, it's extremely simple. You're going to uh, work in the folder. You're going to create a new layer over there. And you're going to basically redraw uh, those textures. So for example, depends on, on how you made the skin. It's easy or not. For, for the Showa, for example, I can just um, select, uh, I mean duplicate, sorry, the, um, the sticker like that. So I'm going to duplicate it, put it into my specular folder here. So if I put the opacity back to 100, it looks like that. I'm going to um, fuse those, boom, and I'm going to make it black or not 100% black because it's a sticker, so it still has to be a bit shiny, but like extremely subtle. Uh, boom. So now it's going to be um, black. Same thing for the exhaust over there. So I go back here. There's a sticker. But like this, for example, is the one made by Frosty. And as you can tell, if I duplicate it in the specular folder, up, the whole thing is here. So even that. So in that case, you have to manually remove um, the uh, mill texture. Um, how am I going to do this? I mean, you can simply just do this. So we're going to remove everything that is supposed to be um, shiny. So yeah, this, I'm going to uh, select this I can remove and I can remove here as well up there we go and now I can duplicate the effect boom it's now dark wonderful now as you can see so we've got our first step for the specular map but the black sticks are too shiny especially the seat so we can create a shape if we want make it black and just draw on top of the seat because the seat is like leather stuff like that so it's usually not very shiny and so thanks to that it will not be shiny at all boom there we go um, now the problem is my plastics are extremely shiny because they're, they're white so they're going to be extremely shiny uh, and like I said, I just want my forks and my exhaust to uh, be shiny. So um, I'm going to click on my specular mask. All right. So is it empty? Yes. I'm so sorry. I, I, I said create a new layer, but that's, that wasn't. Um, you, you didn't have to. Uh, so I'm going to use the lasso tool because I'm lazy. And I'm going to draw whoops, over what I want to be kept shiny, so light, white. So here, my forks, poof, 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 poof. Interesting. Uh, ah, yes, uh, when you, so when you make a first shape like that, don't forget when you do another one to hit uh, shift on your keyboard. See the tiny cross becomes a plus. And so up, now you can release it. And so you're going to have two shapes uh, to selection. There we go. So we've got those. Now I'm going to create a new filter called um, levels here. Boom. So now if I change this thing, as you can see, this becomes black and the rest becomes white. That's not what we want. So we're going to click here and hit on our keyboard, control I. We're going to invert the mask. And now we've got something very close to what we want. So uh, this is actually not black. Yeah, that's better. I mean, you can rework it however you want. Um, so as you can see, my plastic, uh, so your brain is going to tell you, yeah, but no, it's still white. No, like if I zoom in, 
it's gray, as you can tell. Um, don't forget. So this is going to be very shiny, very shiny, not shiny, not shiny, kind of shiny. So I can close my folder specular, so we're very happy. I'm going to duplicate it like this, and I'm going to fuse it. So we've got one single layer. I'm going to hit Control A on my keyboard and Control C so we can select the texture. I'm now going to go here and create a new layer with that little button. If you already have an alpha mask, just don't create a new alpha mask. You don't have to. Boom. So when you create it, it's all black. But now we're just going to do Control V. Bam. We've got all speckling map. Um, so we can unselect with Control D and we can show the normal map here. Um, so this is the normal map. We have our specular map over there. Like, or for example, if you show it, you can see where things are going to get shiny or not. So if it's bright red, it's going to be quite uh, not shiny. And if it's purple, it's going to be shiny. All right. So now I can just export my texture as uh, okay, underscore N. Yes, replace. 32 bits, don't forget, if we export it as 24, the, the layer, the alpha channel is going to disappear. I click OK, and now I'm going to check in game. All right, so now we are in game. So as you can see here, if I click C on my um, keyboard, I've got three views so I can move with W, A, S, D. And if you look, if we look at our bike, the plastics are indeed a Bit shiny, so we can't really see because the scenery is all white. But if I look at the seat, it's not shiny at all. Um, but if I look at my pipe, look how shiny that thing is. So the, here, this is shiny. Here, this is not shiny, as you can tell. And the the tip is not shiny as well. If I look at my forks. Um, the fork itself is shine, shiny, very much shiny, but the logos are not because we, uh, stage of the game, don't make that shiny. Um, and that's really it. So this is also a tutorial on how to use my detailed normal map on the KX. <laughs> but uh, more importantly, now you know how to make uh, custom specular maps for the OEM bikes. I hope you liked the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let it, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer. All right, that's all about it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.